In this age of pharmacological dependence and in medical treatment, we've really gone overboard when it comes to the psychiatric drugs. And we tend to use them rather than looking for the underlying causes uh, and doing psychotherapy or the other kinds of treatments that can be done to try to get at the root of why things have gone wrong. Antidepressants, according to people from McMaster University in Canada that was published in the journal Frontiers in Psychology, came out with a statement saying antidepressants probably do more harm than good. Wow, what a statement when we have millions of Americans depending on antidepressants because they make you feel better. But the question is, is what are they doing and at what expense? What are the pluses and what are the minuses? When you look at the actual effect of the SSRI antidepressants, it's not much. It's not better than placebo, according to the biggest studies that were done. That looked, It was the biggest meta-analysis that was done that looked at the studies that were published and the studies that were not published. And they came to the conclusion there was no difference between placebo and from the drug itself. Now that's stunning in itself. And of course it tells us, yes, the value of the placebo is tremendous, but no, why do it at the expense of taking a drug that has negative pharmacological effects on our body? We know that the SSRIs work by increasing the level of serotonin, that feel-good hormone that's in our brain, but our brain doesn't have the bulk of serotonin in our body. Our digestive tract, our hematologic system, our reproductive system, and our developmental systems as we're growing all depend on serotonin for proper function. We know that some of the increased risks that we see with the SSRI antidepressants uh, that are serious are the developmental problems in infants, uh, abnormal sexual stimulation and function, abnormal sperm development, digestive problems, and stroke, and sometimes in the elderly. So we have something here that has a lot of negative effects that are substantial, plus the usual side effects, which are also a big issue. Things like agitation, not being able to sleep right, having GI symptoms or a dry mouth, uh, sexual dysfunction. This is not what you want in your placebo effect. And you could get that effect if you're using an antidepressant in this class by using a placebo and by itself. So we do have alternatives. And sometimes we do need to have uh, something to help us along because we can't function. And there are biochemical ways of modulating neurotransmitters that perhaps should be looked into a little bit more closely by our psychiatrists these days. You would think that they would be the experts in it, but in actuality, they're relying on the drugs as their primary way of doing things, not paying attention to the problems of placebo. Even exercise can work as well as an SSRI antidepressant. There were some wonderful studies out of Duke University a few years ago showing that exercise actually was equal to or better than Prozac used in its normal dosage. So do antidepressants cause more harm than good? Probably so. Do you want to take the, use, uh, the risk of using a drug when you could use a placebo or we can, when you can do psychotherapy? Think about it. Maybe there's thinking, some thinking to do, not just by us, but by our psychiatrists too.